Hi, Mark Gordon with your Gold, Silver, and Spiders report for Thursday, November the 11th, 2011. And looking here at gold, this is the GLD, uh, the Exchange Traded Fund for Gold, and we had a down day off a little under 1%, uh, down 0.84%. And I've established a trend line here, uh, and uh, we came up against that uh, yesterday and the day before, and uh, could not break free of that, and are now pulling back, uh, as expected. Uh, your next level of support is going to be here at this gray line here. This is the 10-day moving average. That's at 170.61, 170.61, okay? Um, and then uh, your next level of support will be down here at the 50-day moving average, this blue solid line, and that is at 167.99. Let's call it 168, and then more support coming down here at the lower trend line. Now, these trend lines are important as uh, uh, traders uh, do watch these and of course the moving averages are important as well. Uh, today we did pull back on light volume which is a good sign and uh, yesterday's uh, slight pullback was on uh, just average volume. Um, so we like to see pullbacks on lighter volume so that's a good sign. If we scroll down and start looking at some of the indicators here this is the MACD and this is clearly in an uptrend. Uh, when the black line crosses below the blue line, uh, uh, we could uh, shift down. But right now, momentum is in our favor to the upside. And also, we're looking at stochastics here. Now, we're above 80, which is typically overbought. But when stochastics, both these lines are above 80 for three days in a row or more, they're said to be locked in. And on a locked in move, you can get, run much higher. But watch out below if we break 80 uh, with this black line. So right now, momentum is in our favor on gold to the upside, and we looks like we're experience a, experiencing a l normal low volume pullback to some support areas. So gold looking strong still. Now when I go to a weekly chart, I want to uh, uh, show you guys again, I talked about this in my last video, when you get up against this upper trend line, you can expect some uh, uh, pullback here, and that's what we've uh, been getting this week. Uh, we came up and, and almost touched the line up here. Uh, this is an upper trend line that I drew, and it it's, uh, uh, mirrors this line here. This is the lower trend line, which has been in, in effect for over a year and a half. So um, looks like we're coming up against here. We might find some overhead resistance here unless the market's super strong, and we'll push through that. Uh, notice how the volume has been light uh, weekly here for quite some time, uh, especially as it's been moving up. So I would expect some sort of a pullback here. But uh, longer term gold solidly in an uptrend. And you can see we have a lot of moving averages converging here in, between 165 and 170. That will offer some support uh, should we decide to pull back even further. So trend traders are loving this gold trend that's been in place for quite some time. Great bull market in gold. Um, savvy trend traders have been taking profits uh, towards this upper trend line. and. Um, uh, waiting for the pullback and then buying again at this lower trend line. Does it always work? No, but this has been a good trade for quite some time. And now jumping to silver, this is the SLV. Now we've been talking about coming up into overhead resistance here at this blue line, the 50-day moving average. This is a daily chart, and so far we've gotten turned away. Uh, yesterday we butted up against it, closed below it, and now we're pulling back. Took out the 10-day moving average, this gray line, it looks like we're headed down here to test the 21-day moving average, which is at 32.29 and rising. Uh, we did have a pickup in volume as we pulled back, so I would expect uh, uh, to pull back and test this lower area here. Uh, we do have a wide, loose trend in place here, um, but if we can get through resistance here at the 50-day and uh, back up here at the uh, 200 and 100-day moving averages, then we can have some clear sailing up into the 40s here. But silver still trying to test itself. Gold much stronger. And last but not least, we're looking at the uh, SPY, the S&P 500. Terrible day today, down about 3.7%, uh, taking out the red line, the 21-day moving average, closing below it. We are now back down here at this lower trend line. Um, we did uh, get up above all the key moving averages yesterday and hit a high of 128.02, so we've had a sharp pullback. And uh, another thing is we had heavy volume and increasing volume. That's distribution. Don't like the sign of that. But all is not lost. We still have support here, down here at this green dotted line, which is the 100-day moving average. And we have support at the lower trend line here. Uh, should all uh, fail, uh, we'll get support down here possibly at the 50-day moving average, which currently is at about the $120 level. 
Uh, let's uh, scroll down and take a look at some of the indicators. Uh, one thing I'm seeing here is the MACD uh, may be crossing to the downside. That would not be a good sign. That would be uh, uh, a lot of trend traders would uh, not have faith in the momentum of the market, which has flatlined here for the last several days. Um, so not looking good on the MACD. Let's see if that can correct itself. And then looking down here at the stochastics, uh, they are down around uh, 64. Uh, the black line is at 57 and the uh, red line is at, at 64. Uh, and the black line is pointed down. So uh, stochastics are showing a loss of momentum as well. So stocks are uh, uh, not looking great here, but all is not lost. So that's it, folks. Gold looking strong. Silver trying to uh, get ahead uh, and get, so, get through some overhead resistance. And stocks uh, taking a breather here, but finding support so far. Uh, so good luck trading, everybody.